We are assembled here today to talk about the interference of a powerful enemy of public health, tobacco, and the industry that promotes the use of it. We have known about the devastating effects of tobacco use for decades, which alone in the European region is responsible for 1.6 million deaths per year. Even if lately tobacco use has begun to decrease among males in many European countries, the industry keeps trying to alter public beliefs about tobacco while cleverly attracting new groups of young people to start smoking or others to continue. Lately, the industry cleverly targets women and girls as a major new consumer group, as if smoking were a symbol of female empowerment. What can we possibly to do to encounter this tendency? Keep implementing the World Health Organization's Framework Convention on Tobacco Control, the most powerful international tool we have at present in tobacco control. We can warn the public about the role of the industry in the tobacco epidemic. And we can continue on our own to improve tobacco control legislation and to strengthen prevention programs. Health promotion is indeed the most efficient measure to enhance public health, to save lives and to avoid disease. I wish you a fruitful and inspiring World No Tobacco Day 2012. Thank you.